I wrote a little 16 page booklet on bluffing in Texas Hold'em because I love to play the game and this was a, a school project but anyhow you'll notice here I bent the cards so I'm going to show you how to create this effect right here there's the actual one I used on that cover I'll close out of here so you notice first thing I did is I got me a couple poker cards here a couple aces and I put it on a, my green felt table just to give it some poker realism here uh, first thing I want to do is I want to overlap these cards well actually I want to create a gradient on them first We'll create a bit of a shadow look to them. So we have a couple of cards here. I put it on a simulated green felt just for a little bit of realism. We'll create us a gradient. So to give it the shadow effect, we'll go black on one side and white on the other. Go ahead and get out there and let's uh, flip it up, flip it the other way. It's 90 degrees. There we go. And let's see what Justin. We'll make this a little lighter here. Let's go about that color right there. We're going to give it the shadow effect because when we uh, go to bend them, you're going to need the shadow to fully complete the effect. All right, let's see here. We want to give it a uh, let's give it a multiply on that and a multiply on this and this to bring the shadow into it and I don't know if it's gonna affect this or not but we'll do it anyway probably not really all right so we got our shadow effect now what we want to do we want to grab this card. Let me lock that background so it don't happen again. We'll go ahead and we'll group this. We'll group both cards. Group. And we'll group this one. Group. We'll grab this one. We'll drag it over this one right here. I'll bring it out a little bit more like that. I guess we didn't need to do the multiply on the bottom, did we? But anyhow, we're going to cut these cards. In order to get this effect, we don't need the whole card. We just need part of it. So what we're going to do, get our line segment tool. And let's draw a straight line, say, and hold my shift key so I can get a straight line. There we go. Go back to that. And now let's go to object. Where is it at? Let's see, object path, divide objects below. And now we should be able to remove these two bottom objects here. There we go. Let's go ahead and ungroup this so we can get rid of those bottom A's there. Forgot about that. Actually, let's go back. We only need the bottom part of that off. There we go. Just double clicking it to isolate it like that and double click back. Double click on it, isolate. There we go. I don't know why there's. There we go. Let's get this. get rid of that there all right now we have those let's go ahead and select them both let's go to object let me see where is that envelope and distort and make with mesh and the normal default is to come up four rows and four columns we just need one of each and click OK now there's our meshes. You can see our meshes all the way around it. 
Now that the mesh is made, if you take your direct select tool and you click on a corner, you'll see some ink, some handles are now made for distorting stuff. I'm going to go ahead and set that back to where it was. Let me center this up a little bit so we can see what we're going, going to do here. Move these two points here simultaneously. So I'm going to mark him. I'm going to drag it just a little bit to the left. About, say about that far. And now these two points here, I'm going to want to move this way simultaneously. So I'm going to grab the shear tool. You'll find it underneath your scale tool right there. And I'm going to hold the shift key, click, and drag just a little bit to the right. Let go. And now I want to drag this down some. So I want to get the scale tool. You'll, again, you'll find that up underneath. Uh, you'll find it right there where we found the shear tool. We'll come off to the side, hold shift and click, and pull it down some. And there you have it. Bent cards. And really that's all there is to it. You just play with the shear tool and the scale tool and your mesh tool. And you know, and figure out all different ways you can make things bend. And for more videos on Illustrator, Photoshop, Dreamweaver, WordPress, and some programming languages, you can visit my website, www.skeeterz71.com. Have a good day.